Hi, I'm Bryn Hadler of Allergy Bites, and I'm honored to be here today with Henry Ehrlich, co-author of Asthma Allergies Children, A Parent's Guide, editor of AsthmaAllergiesChildren.com, and he's the author of a new book called Food Allergies, Traditional Chinese Medicine, Western Science, and the Search for a Cure. As you know, Henry, I'm a huge fan of Dr. Lee, and I've been following her work for years. But for those who don't know her, can you briefly explain who she is and why her work in the allergy field is unique? Yes, Bryn, and thank you very much for having me on. Uh, Dr. Lee was born in, and educated in China. She got degrees or qualifications simultaneously in, in Western medicine and, and TCM. And this duality gives her a unique insight into how the immune system can be treated in using traditional Chinese medicine and then to understand how that works using Western science. Um, it, it's a quite remarkable combination of qualities in, in one individual and uh, it, it's paid off seems to be paying off. It's paid off in her private work and also in the laboratory because she has opened up the immune system and how it can be treated and affected in ways that Western medicine has really not done very well at all. That's interesting. I, and, and what mo motivated you to write a book about this? Well, I as you said, I have a. I'm an editor, the editor of a website which I founded with my two co-authors of the earlier book. They're both pediatric allergists in New York of considerable, considerable reputation and standing. And uh, when we started the uh, website, because you know, my slogan was that uh, medicine moves faster than print, uh, I. I was looking around for outside experts to write guest editorials, and my cousin, Dr. Paul Ehrlich, which is a very eminent name in the field of allergy and immunology, but not necessarily because it's my cousin, <laughs> uh, he suggested that I go up to Mount Sinai to meet this marvelous doctor whom he had heard speak. Um, of course, she's at the Jaffe Food Allergy Institute at uh, Mount Sinai, which is a preeminent, probably the preeminent organization in the world. Dr. Lee showed me pictures of the feet of a little girl whom she had treated for eczema, which as a day-to-day -day matter, if you have really horrible eczema, it's a terrible, terrible quality of life issue. It's bad for a kid's self-esteem, they're in pain, they look, they're embarrassed by the way they look and so Dr. Lee showed me these four photographs. The first one, her, the feet were just awful. They, they looked painful in the picture. They were red and spotted and uh, I, you, you couldn't help but feel sorry for this little girl and then over the, as you move across the, the panorama of these photographs, they got better and better, and finally, in the last photograph, the, f the skin was not only clear, but the toenails were painted. And I have a, a daughter, and I watched her with nail polish and toenail polish over a period of many years, and I know what it means to a little girl to, ha to be able to decorate her nails, and that convinced me that something very serious had gone on. Um, and and after, that all happened without any steroid treatment, correct? No, it was, it was entirely herbal. Uh, it's not something you can get in your local apothecary either because Dr. Lee is a profoundly accomplished scientist, but she has a world-class laboratory to ensure that they are properly made and that they're non-toxic because we all know that, that that's a fear in the West of, of Chinese products of almost any kind that they might be contaminated somehow. So that was my the beginning of my relationship with Dr. Lee. Um, I, she wrote a piece for us uh, about using TCM for food allergies, which is the focus of her most of her research. And then after I had known her for about a year, I began, began to get the ambition to tell her story in book at book length, and that's what I've now done. Um, 
it's a story about the most rigorous and exciting science because it continually ties to the plight of millions of children worldwide and, and millions more anxious parents. And I wanted to show that this, this was not hippie medicine. This is not something right. that people learn about, you know, while they're smoking, smoking <laughs> herbs, which was my original acquaintance with herbal anything, I must say, many years ago. Um, we don't have to admit this, that here. <laughs> this, is, this is rigorous science. They have revealed uh, things about the immune system that nobody ever knew before. And it, um, in the words of her, uh, of Dr. Lee's uh, supervisor at Mount Sinai, she has revealed things about the immune system that we never knew before. Uh, the Western approach to medicine is to study the effect of one molecule on another molecule, and what she has done is revealed the effects of multiple molecules on multiple other molecules, and it is absolutely a fascinating story. It, it sounds fascinating. And as a food allergy parent or as a food al allergy sufferer, uh, why should I or someone like me be interested in a traditional Chinese medicine treatment for food allergy when the media lately has been so rife with you know, promising Western treatments? Well, I think that it's, for one thing, this is the most advanced investigational drug in the history of the complementary and alternative medicine division of the National Institutes of Health, which is a division of the United States government. So it's, it's very, very far along. It's much further along than almost any other uh, treatment. Um, it also, uh, the, the, um, the efficacy can not only be has not only been demonstrated pretty thoroughly in mouse and in human trials, but um, it is but it but the effects can also be seen in the laboratory. Uh, the 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 food allergy herb, herbal formula too um, inhibits. You know you you can measure this in a flask uh, you, you, with a, a blood sample. You can show uh, Basophil uh, activation. Basophils are a, are a key um, effector cell, along with mast cells. Uh, you know, the, when those things hit their allergen, they explode and you know flood your system with with toxins. You can actually show in the laboratory how these things work, and they do seem to work. I'm happy to say. Whereas a lot of the stuff that's going on in, in Western-oriented laboratories is just not that effective. Um, I, there is a new experiment going on in Australia that I just read about today that I'm very excited about. Um, but uh, that's very much at the beginning stages, I think. Um, Dr. Lee is, is closer. And the other thing is that, you know, many... Western-oriented allergists and patients and patients' parents largely view allergic diseases in terms of their symptoms. You know, you have mm -hmm. food allergies and you also have asthma, and you can't really do very much for either one of them. Uh, what what uh, the, the TCM approach, um, and I'm not sure, you know, how to what extent in the future um, this is going to be part of integrative medicine, which is the combination of Western and, and Chinese medicine. Um, but the, the emphasis in a good TCM practitioner is to treat the whole patient in a highly individualized way rather than giving uh, inhaled steroids for asthma and uh, allergy shots or allergy drops for uh, environmental allergies. And it's a whole... Uh, set of discrete um, uh, treatments. Um, instead, a good TCM practitioner would would look at all your problems in concert with one another and try to treat them um, in concert. And as a consequence, uh, at least in Dr. Lee's practice, um, she can take very complicated diseases that really are untreatable by. Uh, in Western terms, except by abstinence or huge dosing of, of corticosteroids, mm -hmm. um, she can treat them with a combination of teas, salves, um, 
baths and so forth because she knows what the active ingredients are and she can deliver them to the system more uh, more effectively through a combination of uh, of the, the skin and ingestion. So it sounds to me that it's more of an integrated approach and it's less toxic overall. Is that what you're... Well, it, it, it's certainly less toxic in that the herbs seem to um, to reduce the inflammatory response and the functioning of one kind of T helper cells, Th2, uh, w without um, suppressing uh, other uh, organ functions. You know, the big the, ter the the big problem with corticosteroids is that they do reduce inflammation and they can control control. Um, e allergic symptoms, but the, the problem is that they also depress adrenal cortex function, which actually leaves you uh, uh, more vulnerable to other kinds of uh, immune uh, assaults, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. opportunistic effect, infections and so forth. And then, of course, you know, if you only achieve uh, control by suppressing the adrenal cortex uh, or the infl inflammatory response, uh, you know, you, you stand a chance of having these things return with a vengeance. Um, the, uh, you know, that is, that is what happens with immunotherapy anyway. You know, some of it lasts more or less forever. You know, the, the allergy shots I had when I was in high school have stayed with me. I haven't redeveloped my allergies. But um, there are some kinds of immunotherapy where the, where the return is really rather sudden. Uh, it happens with, um, with allergy to penicillin. You can be desensitized to it in a big hurry, but then after the operation, you know, the next time you need to go in for surgery, you know, you may end up with the same problem. Mm. Uh, the uh, um, with with insect venom, it's the same thing. You need to have, you can be rapidly desensitized to insect insect stings, mm -hmm. but you, but then you have to have regular shots forever to keep that to keep, um, it keep that up. Boosted, uh, right. right, right. I mean, the dream with any allergy is to is to treat it uh, for a discrete amount of time and have it stay cured. And um, yeah, be wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, so that's and not, you know, the TCM approach doesn't work like that. It modulates the immune system, so the, the overactive TH2 response is, is permanently or, or effectively reduced without suppressing the TH1 response, which is what you, what you need to combat uh, microbial and viral infections. I see. And when do you think a traditional Chinese medical remedy might be available for people who suffer with food allergies? Well, that's a very interesting question. You know, we I live in a country that has a a, a kind of a, a split personality as far as uh, as regulation um, goes. Uh, here, we to get certified as a pharmaceutical drug, which is what for, food allergy herbal formula 2 is supposed to be someday it means you have to go through lengthy lengthy protocols of of proof and clinical trials and that's a good thing um, it's protected the american public from certain problems mm. with certain drugs that really did afflict say the uk um, so we have a, go a good strong regulatory function however um, a lot of these remedies that Dr. Lee is conjuring with uh, have a long tradition of effective use in China and Japan and Korea. Uh, what she's doing is derivative of some of the classical formulas, but they, they are certified as dietary supplements in the United States, which is why she can practice hmm. medicine uh, four days a month, as she does, while also, you know, her day job is being a, a pioneering scientist. <laughs> right. And the last chapter is called The Slow Road to Clinical Practice, and it, it enunciates uh, Dr. Lee's vision of integrative medicine in which 
uh, you know, without every allergist in the Western world, you know, having to, or around the world, having to recertify as a TCM specialist, they may be able to work with some of her medicines um, and uh, you know, with direction and training from Dr. Lee and possibly in combination with, with local TCM specialists. Um, it, you know, that's really her, uh, her dream. And there are allergists who will be open to this kind of treatment and there are allergists who won't. And, and that's fine. They're all trained, you know, they're a product of the training. You know, every sp medical specialist is a handmade product. But um, I'm hoping that by thinking expansively and recognizing that what Dr. Lee is doing really does constitute a breakthrough vision of treatment, that it's not just controlling symptoms anymore, but it's the possibility of really making dramatic changes in people's health over a period of time, that they will be open to what she's doing. Um, I think so. once things work, people get on board. Yes. Thank you for talking with me today, Henry. You can find Henry Ehrlich's book, Food Allergies, Traditional Chinese Medicine, and the Search for a Cure in paperback from Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com and in ebook form from Kindle, iBooks, and all the other major platforms. Thanks very much, Henry. Thank you so much, Bren. Bye. Bye.